What's going on, my guy? Games play. Hey, I'm seeing you. Hey, Come here now. Hello. Sorry, some people say that my mic sounds bad and I sound like I'm from the 80s. So yeah, we have seen you for Android. It's uh, here, guys, and uh, today we're gonna actually check it out. And I'm gonna ramble on about what's good and what's not good and all that fun jazz. So let's level up our gaming knowledge even more in 2024. <laughs> that is right mobile gamers today we have seen you for android the beta edition still and it's glory yes i know we can play breath of the wild on switch yes i know we can play some other games on switch because they've been ported over that is not the point the point is that we have active development for CMU, and someone has been putting in some hard work at making this happen and i love it this is awesome i played over an hour of breath of the wild last night after i found this and i am enjoying everything about it i am going towards one of the other towers right now i have never actually played all the way through breath of the wild or tears of the kingdom or anything i own them on the switch and i haven't followed through with the entire game because i just haven't had time to actually game and play any games that i can just sit back and play and i think i'm going to start doing that i might even start doing that on the channel as well as i might just do like sunday gameplays i know i said i was going to do sunday gameplays for certain games and stuff like that but i just haven't gotten around to it and what the heck is going on here oh my god okay get the heck out of here all right goodbye um yeah this is this is breath of the wild lots of fixes lots of uh awesome fixes because if you guys saw my live stream from a few weeks ago you would see that there was a lot of graphical issues with the game and that was because they fixed i guess like the gamma or something on the game and the game was not rendering properly and I said something about oh, it would be awesome if we had turn up drivers and stuff like that. But I don't know if that'll even make a difference with the fact that this is working really well already. And it's fixed even games like uh, Super Mario 3D Land, for example. And Super Mario 3D Land does work really well as well. I'm going to show that in a few minutes here. I'm going to try to figure out maybe how to, uh, how to beat this guy. And uh, yeah. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe maybe i won't oh maybe i'm gonna die and yeah i'm gonna run away and eat some apples um apples food i got food uh cooked food here we go eat that as you can see i've been playing for a bit i did play for a bit um that stone talus guy i don't know if i'm even gonna bother trying to fight him because i don't really have the means to do so so i'm just gonna keep running this way and uh hopefully he doesn't follow me oh my god he is following me why is he following me all right let's let's get out of here as you can see around 30 fps and even in the tunnel or the caverns and star caves and stuff you're actually getting like almost 50 fps i was in one of the dungeons and i was getting around that and it was actually not too bad. So I am going to run away and maybe eat some food and get my... So one thing to note is that a lot of CMU games, if you're new to the scene, uh, there are a lot of graphics packs and stuff like that that do help a lot. And also it doesn't help when I can't see my hearts in the top left hand side. So you can actually change where that location is. You can actually turn that off if you don't care either. Uh, I only put this on so you guys don't complain and say, oh, what about showing the FPS? Cause I know some people complain about that. I don't understand why. Uh, when I show video showcasing these, the main thing is knowing that it's playing well and it looks like it's playing well, which it is. And it's really, you know, I think showing the fps too from a developer standpoint uh it's going to utilize more of your threading on the actual cpu because you're telling the program which is cmu for this case to show something else on screen and render something else on screen and i know this because i 
have developed some even 2D games and the 2D games that I developed started slowing down a bit when I was uh, showing like my FPS counter and stuff like that. So yeah, that is something that you might wanna just turn off and it'll help. Now, again, like this is Breath of the Wild playing on CMU, playing really flipping well. And I played for over an hour, high performance mode. I'll show you my settings and stuff like that in a few minutes here. And it just has been playing the way that you would hope that an actual Wii U would play, I guess, and maybe even better. So I'm gonna save this game. Now I do have my Odin 2 set to high performance mode. I have no RAM swap turned on. I pressed the speed up button to actually get rid of any cache processes in the background or anything like that. And yes, this is just amazing. So for Breath of the Wild, uh, I'm going to go, oh, I don't want to go back into the game. I just want to exit here. So for settings, you're going to go into your settings, your graphics packs, and you're going to set up graphics packs for certain games. Now, workarounds, I don't touch anything inside the, the workarounds for this device because none of this is for Android. Now for FPS++, I have this set to 60 FPS, but... Again, you're not going to get full 60 FPS in the overworld areas and stuff like that. You will get about 30. I was getting actually around like 50-ish in the undergrounds and everything like that. And you'll just want to mess around with that. So enable that. Um, I have no cheats set on enhancements. I turn my enhancements on. And I also turn on my graphics to be 1280 by 720p. So that it's just the default resolution. And my workarounds, again, I don't do anything in there. Now, some games do require you to actually have workarounds set up. So like Minecraft, for example, you need to have this turned on for me crashes. A graphics resolution, you can change that to like 1920 by 1080 p for Minecraft Wii U edition. Haven't tried Captain Toad yet. Uh, Mario Kart was really great. Contrasty, I turned on. I turned on debranding, debranding remove the MBK TV watermark. That's yes or no, it's up to you. Uh, graphics packs, I changed this to on as well, 1280 by 720. You can probably get away with 1920 by 1080p. Um, I haven't tried out split screen because I don't think we can even play uh, two player yet on this version of it. Splatoon wasn't working whatsoever. Super Mario 3D World, my mods, I have it set to resolution at 1920 by 1080p. Shadow resolution, enhancements, contrasty, and uh, Wind Waker. Wind Waker was one of the big ones that wasn't working the last time I tested this, which was a couple week weekends ago. And for Wind Waker, I actually have a FPS slowdown turned on, integrated GPU, nothing, PictoVoc, nothing, and that is about it. Now let's jump into Wind Waker because Wind Waker was one of those games that was having a lot of issues and it does play super well and it looks a lot better. I was playing a little bit of it last night as well before I got into playing some Breath of the Wild because I just wanted to play some Breath of the Wild. So here we go, let's start it up. And yeah, we're getting about 30 FPS solid with uh, Wind Waker as well. I think I'm actually supposed to be going back to see my sister. And I've, these are games that I actually have not played all the way through either. I've played some Wind Waker on Wii using the HD texture packs and stuff, but my Zelda experience ended with Majora's Mask, really. Majora's Mask and even Link's Awakening I bought for the Nintendo Switch. And that game, I played halfway through it and never even beat it because I beat the original, which was on Game Boy Color. Well, Game Boy, and then it was enhanced for DX version of Game Boy Color. So yeah, that was that was my experience with all that, and I just never bothered with playing it. So now I'm playing actually Zelda Wisdoms of Wisdoms, Echoes of Wisdom, and it's actually a really good game, and I really highly recommend it so far. Uh, from what I've played, I've played all the way through the very first mission and everything. So uh, let's follow suit with what she's saying. I know, yeah, we can't actually drag screen i don't get i don't think uh oh, okay there we go all right now we got to zoom in on the mailbox i played this for this part of this game so many times <laughs> and yeah this is this is so much better again this was something that just came to my attention last night um on friday 
because I was following a Reddit post and yeah, Reddit's a really good place sometimes to actually follow up with things. Sometimes Mr. Sugiano doesn't do his job. I'm just kidding. Mr. Sugiano does a really good job at doing the news for all this kind of stuff. And yeah, it's it's something that I think you guys should have fun with. Now, it doesn't work on the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro because the Mali GPU is not strong enough, I don't think, or there's something about the Mali GPUs that they aren't working on yet. So unfortunately, no, it won't work on the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro. Will it work on the Retroid Pocket 5? Probably, maybe. Not as well as the Odin 2. Uh, the 865 processor is not that great and it's probably gonna not be the best. I'm not gonna bash it because I haven't tried it even on my S20 FE or anything like that. But the, uh, the Odin 2 is the end all be all device. For the price, $300 for the base model, you're gonna get an awesome device that is a one and done device. And as you can see, like, I know this is the pro model of the Odin 2, but I've already proved to you guys in the past too that the base model Odin 2 is good enough for a lot of games and even um, Switch emulation and stuff like that. Ouch. And I've done a lot of videos about that too in the past and it's just people are like, oh, what about that extra RAM? And as you can see, like this game is not using a lot of RAM whatsoever. Let's go into a very dark area. Now, as you can see, this very dark area right here used to be super dark if you guys watch my last video. Uh, live streaming this game it was super dark i couldn't see anything and now i can see the entire game and enjoy it like this is freaking awesome we can take our wii u with us we can take it to the park <laughs> we can take our wii u to the park we can travel with it and it's mobile right i know the odin 2 is a little bit bigger and it is a nice decent size i don't think people really understand that the device size and the ergonomics really do matter when it comes to the devices. And that's why when I did my review, my final review about the Retroid Pocket 4, that I just didn't think it was an ergonomic, ergonomic device. And I even heard Joey at Retro Handhelds or Joey's Retro Handhelds say the same thing. He didn't like that device either. So not sure why Retroid went the route they did. Not going to go there again. I am going to probably be done with talking about that company because I'm never spending a dime on that company ever again. Even if AYN and Retroid are the same company or affiliated with more chip or whatever the case may be, I really was ticked off this time to a point where I'm like, I'm not spending money on this company, but also I don't need to. The Odin 2 does what it needs to do. What can get better is maybe just the GPU and the screen and that's about it. Like, honestly, we can get an OLED screen and it wouldn't really even phase me because I like the LCD. I don't see any motion blur. I don't see any uh, latency or anything like that. Like, it's something that people complain about, too. And I'm like, what? I don't notice anything. This screen looks nice to me. And it might look a little bit weird in videos, maybe. It might look a little bit different than it actually does in person. Some people say that the motion blur is bad and i'm like okay i think it might be might be your eyes in that point so yeah seem you seem you for android is getting here and this is awesome that's all i have to say about that and if you guys want me to do a setup guide about this comment below i'm probably gonna do a setup guide anyways but still comment below if you want me to do a setup guide if you made it this far do comment below because this is 2024 it's almost over three more months into 2024 and we have lost yuzu but we gained steam you for android and it's playing freaking well and hopefully it gets even better some games don't play as great but some games play really really well and that's this is one of them same with super mario bros wii u that one actually plays super freaking well and I don't have any complaints about that game. It's almost perfect. It's almost better, actually, than the Switch emulator. See you next time. Have a nice day. I love you all. And bye-bye. Uh,